I'm Olivia Antilla, forward, graduated from Osseo Senior High School, and I'm going to South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. Hi, my name is Shadero Harris, and I go to uh, North Community High School, and the college that I'm going to is North Dakota State of Science, and my position is a forward. Hi, my name is Brenda Brown. Um, I'm from Roosevelt High School. I'm a shooting guard. I'm number 11. I'm going to the University of South Dakota School of Mines. My name's Ashley. I graduated from Highland and I play the shooting guard and I'll be attending Long Beach City College in California. Hi, my name is Paris Crenshaw. I went to Highland Senior High High School and I was a point guard and I'm going to Nebraska Central Community College. My name is Asia Jacobs. I attend Prairie Seas Academy. This college I'll be going to is Bethune-Cookman University and I am a small forward. Shamika Hopkins, point guard. I went to Duluth East High School and I'm going to NDSCS. Hi, my name is Brianne Guyton. I recently graduated from Richfield High School and I'll be playing forward at North Dakota School of Science. Hi, my name is Kyra Hunter. I play guard. I went to MTS High School and I'm going to Rochester Community Technical from this fall. My name is Ashley Lee. I played a forward at Robinsdale Cooper High School and I'll be attending Valley City, North Dakota. Hi, I'm Kianda Nix. I go to Highland Park Senior High School. I'm going to go to Concordia University, St. Paul next year and I'm a center. My name is Ariana Fuller. I'm a point guard. I play for Prairie Seeds Academy. Right now I'm undecisive on where I want to go, but uh, I'm going to say Anoka Ramsey for right now, but don't know yet. I'm Lachelle Ornewton. I play point and um, I, go, I go to South High School and I am, uh, I'm going to Anoka Ramsey. My name is Khadija Young. I'm a point guard. I attended Roosevelt High School and I'm going to Nyack in Iowa. Dontrea Cole. I went to MTS Charter School. I play power forward, and I'm going to Columbus, Nebraska. My name is Brianna Seahorn. I play the point guard position. I'm going to Hibben Community College, and I play for Prairie Seed Academy. My name is Marlia Garrett Edwards. I play the three. I went to St. Paul Central, and I'm going to Anoka for college. Welcome to the 19th annual Inner City All-Star Classic. I'm Troy Russell with Faith Johnson Patterson. How you doing today, Faith? I am terrific. Excited about today's game. You know, this is all, all, always an awesome time here at the uh, Inner City All-Star Classic. This is our 19th year. We are coming up on 20 years together with this, Faith. How are you feeling about this today? 20 years? Now, you just kind of aged me a little bit, so uh, I was feeling pretty good until I realized my age, but... Uh, I, this, I'm excited, you know, this is this has come a long way, you know, 20 years is exciting and um, we're just glad to be back here and we're some exciting basketball, boys and girls. Well, you know, next year is going to be our 20th year anniversary, this is our 19th year, next year is going to be some exciting stuff going on um, also, but this year, you know, we got some, we got some uh, uh, awesome young ladies playing here uh, today on both um, squads. Talk to me a little bit about some of the girls that are in today's game. Well, uh, Brianne Guyton for sure played for Roosevelt, played against her in the championship game at Richfield, and uh, what a player. Just a terrific uh, young lady, very good. And Tella also um, played the state tournament to play for Osseo. So I anticipate those two, that'd be quite a matchup between the two of them. Well, actually, they're on the same team, so it's going to be pretty. Might be a little lopsided there. That team seems to be, Team Faith seems to have a little bit of an advantage in terms of experience. And as, just as we speak, driving to the basket. Yeah, that was a, that was a, 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 a very good uh, drive to the basket there by Brianna Guyton out of Richfield. She'll be at the line shooting, too. She's very aggressive. One of the things she does really well is post up, and she's got a great move from the elbow, high post area, where she likes to kind of pump fake and do a spin move. And I tell you, she did that against us probably at least four times. And I'm like, I'm thinking, are you guys going to pick up the fact that this kid is killing you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she looks very fundamentally sound. She missed a couple free throws there, though. You know, nerves, nerves get these kids early in this kind of an, uh, atmosphere. Right now, still 0-0. Zero, zero. We got Rich with the ball. Oh, she gets the ball taken from her. Another still right or, back. Or with the shot, no good. Guyton with the rebound, the outlet pass. Nice. Ashley. Shot is blocked by Nick. 
Young pushing the ball back down to Orr. Guys, Orr. Nice oh, move, oh. but it was unfortunately blocked. Going again by Young. You oh, no, layup miss. Like I said, they're pretty nervous here early. <laughs> Do you get the impression that uh, Team Truth is more guard oriented than Team Faith? And team Faith seems to have most of the post presence yeah, and the height advantage. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, it, it does look like they may have a little bit, or just maybe the way he. They put the uh, lineups out there. The coaches may have started a certain group. I believe they tried to uh, split the teams up equally. So we'll see what happens when they sub. Right now it was a foul. Looks like Keandra Nix. Keandra Nix. Keandra Nix. And she had a pretty good season this year. Saw her play in the Minnesota All-Star game. Yeah, Highland, Highland Park had a pretty good season this year. I, I, you know, I thought they we'd did. see the Minnesota State did. Tournament this year. She must be a, a really good player. She's going to Concordia College in St. Paul, which is a pretty good program for girls basketball right now. So, you know, Kiana stepped in there. We got our first point of the game. Got our first point of the game. So we got... Team Truth leading by one. Team Truth ahead. There she goes. Right from that high post. Nice block. Keander Nix with the pass and with the push it up the floor. Nice, nice drive. Nice drive. Good hustle. Antilla pushing the ball up the floor. Oh, Shamika, Shamika Hopkins with the jump shot. Off rebound. Offensive Shemika. rebound by uh, Guyton there, but it's tapped and deflected out of bounds. Yeah, Shamika Hopkins won the, uh, was one of the recipients of the uh, Prime McDonald Achievement Award for academics this year. High GPA. Foul on Orr, Newton Orr. Very impressive. Do you oh, I'm know sorry, where that's she's not uh, Orr, that's going a... to school? With the academic scholarship, uh, you know, she can probably go pretty much anywhere. She, yeah, I... I'm not sure exactly. I don't know if she was quite sure. All right, 2-1 in favor of Team Faith. The long pass is... Oh, oh, she got hit her hand on the floor. A little bit too okay? tough to handle. The That's shot Brianna Seahorn. short by Antilla. Nice spin move. Oh, she was called for a treble. Good defense by Nick. Olivia Antilla transferred from Benilde over to uh, Osseo. Had a pretty good year this year, huh? She had a fantastic year. She took her help leader team to, uh, I believe, a uh, second place finish. Lost to a very good Hopkins team in the uh, yeah. championship team. They were kind of a enigma this year. They lost to some teams they shouldn't have lost to, but they turned it on at the right time. Osseo did. And really, that's the most important thing is to turn it on at the end. Yeah, at the right time. That's when you want to be playing your best ball. Absolutely. Exactly. Kianda. The drive. Drives in. Nothing there. Kicks it back out. Oh. Looks Shot like she is was short. Fouled. Looks like she was fouled there. No call. Nice pass ahead. Guyton with another drive. Guyton. To the bucket. Nice strong move to the basket. Rich with the ball in the open court. She played uh, for Prairie C. Prairie Seed Academy this year. No, no Nancy, shot. Nancy uh, had a pretty good season as well. Fell short to a good Ma Maranatha team who went on and won the state tournament. Oh, yeah. Maranatha, was it two years in a row for Maranatha for that class, I believe? A repeat. I believe they repeated. Yes, they did. Ariana Rich with the shot. And Basket's she's good. good for three. Three. Her dad, Rashad, was a member of our, one of our first inner city all-star classic game back in 94. So uh, that, that's, uh, that's probably a first here that I can think of a parent uh, having a kid come back and play in the game. I, I got to research that. I think that's our first parent-daughter combination. That's exciting. That you know goes to show you right there that uh, you know he had a really good experience himself and wanted his daughter participate in that. And she, you know, probably inspired her to really play hard. And, hey, listen, you play hard, you get a chance playing at NC All Star Classic. Exactly. <laughs> Ashley Lee just checked into the ball game. Nick's had an outstanding block. Ashley there. Lee for three, no good. That's Newton Orr with the ball. Rich, the drive, uh -oh. deflected out of bounds. Score is tied, four to four. 
Right now we got Jasmine Haynes electrifying Jasmine Haynes checking into the game. Jasmine Haynes from Cooper. She had a concussion most of the year. So she didn't play a lot, but when she played, she was phenomenal. The shot is good. Paris Crinch off Highland Park. She's going to Nebraska Central, which I believe is a junior college in Nebraska. You know, a lot of these young ladies are, I, I notice, are going to uh, two year uh, colleges, which, you know, a lot of people think that that is something that they look at that as a negative. I think it it helps for those kids that just aren't decided what they want to do. I think it's a great opportunity. Number one, you get used to college, you get used to playing basketball in college. It's just a great opportunity. You want to continue your career, and you're just not really sure what you want to do. That's true. I mean, it's an opportunity to save. You know, if you're not getting, you know, a full ride scholarship, why not, you know, save some money and, you know, get the generals out of the way and, like you said, get your feet wet. Uh, Dontrea Cole also checked in the game for Team Truth. We got Team Faith with the ball. To Daryl Harris. Down two. Minneapolis North. Had a pretty good season. And Tilla. To the basket baseline. and miss the layup. It's a little bit the just too hard. Head to Young, fouled. Oh, Lashley Lee with the foul, but no call. Ball looks like it's deflected by her teammate, Jasmine Hayes of Cooper. Pushing the ball up the floor, Shamika Hopkins. Ashley Lee with the drive. The first layup. Oh. Ashley Lee, who also played at Cooper. Her twin sister was uh, selected to play in the game also. Her twin sister, Jasmine, she decided she didn't want to play basketball anymore. She gave up basketball. Oh, so. wow. And Olivia Antilla went up, got the ball. And I'm not sure if that was on purpose or not, but <laughs> it worked. It with a nice turnaround spin move. And it, it sure yeah. worked. 6 yeah. 6 is the score. Shot by Young, good for three. Khadijah Young from Roosevelt. Nice shooter. Roosevelt, very good team this year. They just they ran into a park center in the uh, quarter, quarterfinals of the sections, but uh, that game, I believe, is in overtime. And nice Tilla shot. right back at her for three. And Olivia Tilla's heating up. Great outside shooter. She's going to South Dakota. School of the Mines. School of the Mines, yeah. There's a few schools, you know, they got a connection here from Minnesota Development Basketball and they recruited uh, about, I think there's uh, another girl in this game that's going there also. Um, uh, Brenda Brown is going there also. And then there's see, a, Jessica January there, who's Guyton's teammate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jessica January, of Minnesota's probably best female athlete. Well, I don't say probably, definitely she's Minnesota's best female athlete when you put track into the equation. She's a fabulous track athlete. Well, you know, I would like to say that uh, I think she's a very, you know, all around, you know, multi-sport, probably yeah, one of the most yeah, exactly. better multi-sport. That's, that's We've what got I'm a lot about. of fantastic athletes. That's that's what I'm just all around other sports guys. That was Jasmine Lee in the picture there. Nice pass. Nice touch. Oh, oh nice pass oh. Brianna inside. Brianna Seahorn, Brianna Seahorn with the finish. Wow. What a pass from that post, high post position. Nine to nine is your score. And Tilla for three. She's not shy about putting that ball up. <laughs> Little wide. Pushing the ball up here is Jasmine or, Hayes. Jasmine Hayes not with the ball. And oh, she picked up her dribble. I thought she was gonna try to go to the basket. Deep three-point shot by Brianna Seahorn does not go. And Tilla pushing the basketball up the floor. You know, and Tilla can play a lot of positions. You'll bring the ball up for you. She can play the shooting guard. She's a tough she can up. Yeah, it's a tough matchup. Very tough matchup. Nice Shadero Harris from Minneapolis North to the basket. She also is a track uh, very good track. The drive. Seahorn no good. Rebound up to tip. tip. Up Unbelievable and good. Tip. Kianda Nix. Unbelievable. From, from Highland Park. What an athlete from Highland Park. She's showing her all around skills. Unbelievable. Nice yeah. tip to the bass. You're able to see it right down the street there at Concordia. Oh, short. short. Ashley Lee and Cooper. But the that's steal. That's Jas Jasmine Scott on that shot. Oh, and, and good. And Shadero Harris, Minneapolis North, my former school. Yeah, yeah. Minneapolis North, the alumni. That. That's right. Alumni here. 
Well, at least I'm an alumni. <laughs> Faith is a, a legend, a legendary coach that I just went there. <laughs> to show you. Harris at the line. She missed the free throw. Oh. Oh, we got a deflection, so there's going to stay right here. Great defense right there by Ashley Lee of Cooper. You know, I got to say, I'm very pleased with what's going on at Minneapolis North right now. They're getting that place turned back around and getting some kids in. Deanna Smith, former alumni at Minneapolis North, is doing a fabulous job of helping, you know, recruit kids and getting that place back up and running the way it should be. Oh, oh, they got hammered. It's an all-star. <laughs> Yes, you know, I was thinking, you know, the, the coach uh, resigned from last year. And I was thinking Deanna Smith would be great, a great candidate to just go ahead and coach that team. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good, you know. Just getting kids back in there is the key. Nice pass Jasmine, and a double pump. Jasmine move. Haynes, I'm telling you, she's electric. Yeah, she gets Unbelievable. going. Unbelievable. She's, she's showtime all the way. You know, that Cooper team period was very showtime. I went and watched they them play were. against Osseo. Actually, they beat Osseo at Osseo. Oh, what yeah, they were. That was a they tremendous were, game. They were very good. They uh, they had... Nice pass. Reverse layup. Again, for Jasmine Haynes. Yeah, they were loaded with the Haynes girls, oh, with, the, uh, with the Lee girls and Jasmine Haynes. And, and then they had one of the better point guards in the state, Chelsea McGee. Oh, they, they, had, they had a great team. Chelsea McGee was one of my eighth graders my last year. Yeah, Started for yeah. me in the state tournament at Minneapolis North. Yeah, Layla, uh, Layla Rich. Yes. Also on that team was one one of your eighth graders from that team. That's right. Yeah, Cooper Great was, athletes. You know, Cooper was loaded. They 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 drew a tough uh, section, and they lost in the sections to I believe they lost to. Uh, it was either Hopkins or Wyzetta. Wyzetta. Wyzetta was actually, you know, just a team that just, in so size wise, they were just too big for those, uh, yeah. you know, young kids at uh, Cooper. If Cooper was kind of team, if they couldn't turn you over, it's going to be tough because they weren't very big. But they sure could turn you over. They had a lot of athletes. Very There's good. one of them right there, Ashley Lee from Cooper on cue. One of the Cooper athletes knocking down the three. She is playing a great all around game. She's on a defensive end on the offensive end. There's another Cooper athlete going to the basket, fouled by her teammate. <laughs> she just took it right to her teammate, didn't she? Yes, she did. <laughs> That's one of the things about, you know, the familiarity. You know your, you know, your teammates when you're out here playing. And they're fortunate to have, you know, more than one from your, from your team. Gives you a little bit of an advantage there. Mm -hmm. Inside yep. to the post. Nice, nice post. Oh, nice. nice up and under. Step through. Nice by move. Hicks. Fouled on the play. She'll be going to the line, shooting to. Again, showing headed you. to Concordia. That's right. She's showing you why she's going to Concordia. Say it again. She's showing you why she's going to Concordia showing us with why. that move. <laughs> showing us why. <laughs> Inner City All-Star Classic, 19th annual Inner City All-Star Classic here on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Troy. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I meant to tell you that right from the very beginning. I, uh, I, uh, I appreciate that. And not only are you a father to your own kids, you're also a father to many. Your coaching career and... Can't tell you how you know wonderful it is to have you know men like yourself that are coaching you know high school basketball and giving back and being a role model. Well, You've done an you. exceptional job. I appreciate that. I definitely try. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda Brown, Ashley for three again. Oh, off the back rim. Offensive rebound. Oh, oh. offensive rebound. I tell you. That Jasmine Scott took another three there. Didn't Team go in. Faith is dominating on the boards. They are just working hard. Ashley Lee again. And tipped out of bounds. It will stay here. I tell you, Team Faith is just dominating on the boards right now. They're just, you know, they, it, hard work, hard work gets it done every time. Well, you know, this is an all-star game. I don't think you're gonna see too many girls are actually gonna be boxing now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> But they sure are crashing the board tired, trying to get their trying to get the, their hands on the ball so they can put it in the basket. <laughs> Actually, it looks like he's gonna go the other way. The drive by oh, Rich. Rich right to the nice basket. Nice strong move. You can tell she had that look. She was determined. Nothing was gonna keep her from that basket. Shamika Hopkins the crossover pull nice off. Nice move. Shamika Hopkins from Duluth East. But an unbelievable. You know, you don't see too many young ladies with the pull up of the mid range game. Yeah. What a nice shot. It's a really nice mid range game. The post is showing you why once again. 
unbelievable shot. Early, 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 early candidate right now for MVP, which is always a big time prestigious award here. Oh. Nice little spin move. Oh! That's Brenda Brown on that. Brenda Brown on that spin move. Jasmine Hayes, did you see the block there? She just pounded it out on the bounce. Look at the crowd is starting to fill up here. The Inner City All-Star Classic, some later rivals, but people are showing up. You know, I was just commenting to someone, you know, this has been around long enough, it's actually drawing more people than the Minnesota All-Star Nice, game, nice shot. Which is really, really says a lot about, you know, is the All-Star Classic. Yeah, has Yo, become a very big uh, our, our event is more of a family atmosphere. You know, it's, 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 about, it's about more than just basketball. It's about family getting together you know, and, and, and supporting their kids for one last time before they go off to college. So, you know, it, 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 it really is the top all-star game in the state of Minnesota by far. I, I, I don't think I have, a, uh, I don't think I have a bias in saying that. I believe that it is and what we do. The kids get to play free. Unlike the other all-star games, they get free uniforms, um, free shoes, um, you know, from our sponsors, you know, and again, our sponsors of this game really help out. Living Legend Apparel, Alan Anderson, uh, now of the uh, Toronto Raptors, spokesman recorder, Chris Humphreys from the uh, New Jersey Nets, who had a fabulous year this year, Mr. Derek Rubin, M Mitchell McDonald, and all of our other sponsors that we have this year. Three point shot by Rick. She's saying, you know what? I'm, I, I want my opportunity to get that MVP trophy. Seahorn. <laughs> Nice defense right there. That little shake and bake by Brenda Brown, but she wasn't having it. She said, there's no way where I'm gonna let you do that little spin move on me like that. Great defensive play and effort right there. Asia Rich will inbound the ball to Jasmine Haynes. Jasmine Haynes to the basket. 50 seconds left to go in the first half. Asia Rich and one, no call. Well, you know, it's probably a good no call. I think you know, so. She kind of leaned his shoulder in a little bit. I think you're right there. I think you're right there. Great officiation. Great the officiating right there. Shamika Hopkins put the open jump shot. Nice dish. Nice pass. Way to push the ball up the floor. These young ladies, they're playing some pretty good basketball. Oh, and Jasmine hangs to the, to the basket and calls it on the floor. We've got about 20 seconds, and by the time the, they're not stopping the clock, so I'm not sure she'll even have a chance to inbound the ball if they don't hurry. Oh, they got the ball inbounded to, uh oh, Nix, he's open for three, and she oh, hits it. Oh, unbelievable And she shot. hits it. Nix. 29 to 22. You no, know, she's showing me. She's trying to, you know, Rich hit a three, and she said, you know what, I can do that too. I don't care if I'm a post. But I used to be short at some point, so I did have to work on my guard skills just in case I didn't grow. Oh, sir, I mean, you know, she's probably going to be a wing player in college. I mean, she's only about, what, six feet tall, so, you know, she'll probably go out to college and play the wing. Team Troop is up seven and a half times, 29 22, in a very fast, crisply, crispy played first half. You know, we are again at St. Paul. Uh, Washington Middle School. Um, it used to be St. Paul Arlington High School. Now it's the uh, middle school, Washington Middle School, and they are uh, growing, growing the crop, uh, growing, the, growing back into a high school. I think they're adding gray here every year, so that's what their plan is. So Wonderful. right now, I believe we're up to ninth grade. Wow. And next year they'll be up to tenth grade and they'll keep going up to their back to their high school level school. Well. So right now it looks like we have the. Uh, skills competition on the court uh, for the young ladies. You know, what do you think of the idea, Troy, if, uh, you know, and I, I don't know, you know, I've thought about this a few t you know, times. I know there's some places where they lower the rim and have a dunk contest for, you know, for the women to be able to do that. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I think it'd be fun to see. I mean, I think it would be fun. I mean, any, any time you can do something different, you know, something people, you know, people don't normally see, it'd be fun to watch. You know, I think that you know, we talked about next year being the 20th anniversary. We're going to do a lot of things. It's going to be a, a lot different as far as we do, as far you know, as far as entertainment and halftime festivities. And it's just going to be a, a big blowout thing. So next year, stay tuned. We're going to do a lot of things um, unconventionally next year. That that's an idea. If we can be in a gym that has that capability, that could be an idea that we <laughs> run across. So. Well, you know, it, it's exciting. I mean, girls, you know, I mean, you know, it, it's getting to where more and more and more, but of course they're, you know, six foot.
put in a pub. But, yeah, exactly. You know, the athleticism still of the young ladies is increasing dramatically, and that would be something exciting, I think, to see. I think so, too. I agree with that. So, again, we got three point shooters right now. We got, uh, we got Khadijah Young out there shooting, and also Brianna Seahorn out there shooting three point shots here. You know, Pierce Crenshaw, she's got a nice shot to be a, you know, a lefty. That's, uh, I believe that's Khadijah Young. I believe that's Khadijah Young. Is that number five? Yeah, it's just the uh, uniform team on us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh. I'm going to uh, have an interview here with Mr. Mr. Rashad Rich. <laughs> Mr. Rashad Rich is... Rashad is one of our, like I said, it, it's, it's it's something I thought it was a fascinating story. I think you probably are, you and your daughter, are probably are our first father-daughter uh, combination. If you played in the game in 94, now your daughter's playing the game this year. Tell me what it feels like, how proud are you your daughter right now, following your footsteps a little bit in this ball, uh, ball game. Especially on Father's Day. The guys are just make, they're making fun of me. They said he's having a uh, proud father moment right now. Exactly. So it makes me very proud. Exactly. It, it is. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's very, um, you know, uh, for us running the ball game, it just makes you feel good that, you know, the game means so much that, you know, it can last long enough to have that kind of longevity for someone to play and then see their daughter also play in the game and get ready to go off to, the, get ready to go off to college. Tell me a little bit about, uh, about her, your, uh, her uh, plans, you know, Ariana's plans well, for the future. Right now, she registered at Anoka Ramsey, mm -hmm. so she should be going there. Uh, we just working out this summer, getting her ready for that. Her two-year plan is to stay there, and she says she want to go to Miami somewhere. Okay. <laughs> so our goal is just to get her uh, focus on basketball, get her back in shape, get her knee back together, and hopefully she'll have a good season coming this winter. Well, man, well, you know what? As we're going to give you, we're going to give you father of the day award for sure and uh, <laughs> so, like i said congratulations man thanks a lot it's really Appreciate uh, it. really uh, and, uh, uh i want to just say thanks to Derek for keeping this going thanks to all you guys that help him keep this going and I just appreciate it, man. It helps out a lot of kids around here. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. And good luck to you and your daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. That's uh, alumni Mr. Rashad Rich, uh, daughter Ariana Rich, playing for Team Truth. That's a heartwarming story. We love to see that longevity. What you think about that, Faith? Uh, we talked about, uh, you know, what we talked about earlier in terms of the uh, junior college was given a chance. Once again, she's making an adjustment. She had an injury. She gets a chance to get in shape again and kind of iron out the, the kinks so that she can continue to further her career athletically. So uh, in this case, you know, once again, it's a great situation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, like I said, we, you know, for the longevity of the game, you know, for him to, you know, for 18, 19 years later, we're still doing this, you know, and that's, and that's a testament to the people that are here, to the crowd, to the fans, to the hard work of, of, of a lot of different people. And, you know, especially Mr. Uh, Quan McDonald, uh, who passed away this year, yes. who was a mentor to me, mentor to you, mentor to a lot of us, who meant a lot and helped us keep this game going, you know, and we want to sit, you know, we want to, Send our condolences out to you know Mitchell McDonald, his uh, his son, and all the people that love Kwame. And like I said, people like Kwame and others who have helped us um, with this game, keep this game going. Um, Kwame was a member of the SPNN family for a lot of years. So um, for SPNN, for all of us, we want to send our condolences out for Kwame McDonald, who passed away earlier earlier this year. Yes, it was a very sad day, and. Uh you know, uh, Kwame definitely role model mentor to me as well. He's been there for a number of years. Pretty much kind of got me going and started my coaching career, to be honest with you. And, yeah, me you know, too. supported me throughout. But, um, yeah. you know, he, he I know he's looking down and just kind of shining. And I say looking down because I know he's in heaven someplace. But, for sure. you know, looking at, you know, this continuum and, and all the participation, the people that are here uh, to see this this uh, vision continue, I'm, I'm sure he's extremely proud. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, and, and, and all he was a champion for young people, and all he ever wanted to do was see young people succeed, to see us succeed. And, um, you know, and, and for him, that's all the, the money or the glory that mattered to him. 
just to see him succeed, just to, to see me succeed, see you succeed, to see all the young people that he worked with succeed is what drove him every single day, you know, and that and that's where, you know, I got, get my passion for working for young people from is from Kwame, because he was certainly passionate about, you know, working with young people. I don't know if we can pull up a picture of Kwame if we have one somewhere, but that'd be awesome. But, um, you know, the people really need to, to know how great of a man uh, Kwame was for the city of St. Paul and for the state of Minnesota. Well, one of the things that he really worked hard on was equality for, you know, minority, uh, I mean, everybody. I mean, whether it's uh, coaches, uh, players, media, administrators, you know, he was always constantly fighting just to have, uh, you know, in fact, one of the reasons why this was even originated was because of the disparity in the state of Minnesota that very few African Americans were, you know, selected to participate in the All Star Game, and yeah. you know, Kwame along with uh, Derek Rubin uh, worked extremely hard to get this off the ground because he wanted to recognize, an, you know, outstanding African American minority um, athletes as well. Yeah, exactly. In '94 or '90, I believe it was '94 or '93. Um, Washburn and St. Agnes. There was two classes at that time, and they won both won the state tournament. Um, both inner city schools, and none of those kids were selected to play in the. Uh, none of those kids were selected to play in the uh, Minnesota Coaches Association All Star Game. So we're like, well, you know, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. You just got to create your own. So that's what that's we right. did. And that's so right. when people get upset and say, well, you know, how can we pass that? And is this game, it, you know? exclusionary and all that stuff we say you know no you know we're we supporting the community and uh you know that's what we're gonna do olivia antilla just won the uh, three points competition uh, headed to uh, south dakota school of the mines there's derek rubin in the hat he is the founder and director of the inner city all-star classic game uh, with his young daughter on father's day uh <laughs> it got in the picture <laughs> So uh, his nice. daughter is a, is a member of a set of triplets. <laughs> so uh, his daughter is the only girl in that member of triplets. <laughs> well, so. you know what? Good for her, though. I, I bet she's going to be quite the athlete. <laughs> yeah, she's going to so. be quite the athlete, and she's going to be tougher than heck of anything else. So that's <laughs> for sure. So again, it's the uh, 19th annual Inner City All-Star Classic. I am Troy Russell here with uh, Faith Johnson Patterson, the legendary uh, coach. Uh, Faith, congratulations again on another state championship this year. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm excited, you know, and uh, thinking, thinking about the, you know, when you talk about the association, they were actually back in uh, April, I was actually also inducted in the Hall of Fame wow, finally after. And that was some of the things that Kwame McDonald, once again, bring, you know, have worked on, advocated for, and, uh, really, really kept talking to a lot of people. It really supported me to be able to make that happen. So you know, and that's, that's congratulations on that for sure. And it's just it's heartwarming to see that you have now. You know, we have grown. You can have we can have opportunities like that. You know, and you created that opportunity for yourself. Congratulations. To purchase a copy of to purchase a copy of this and any other SBNN programs, please give us a call at 651-298-8906. Greetings everyone, this is Mike Beaton presenting the Inner City All-Star Classic Alumni Watch. We begin with Ohio State junior Taylor Hill who had a breakout season. Despite many questions about how Ohio State would run their offense without a true center, Taylor Hill took the leadership role, leading the Big Ten Conference in scoring, including a career-high 31 points in an overtime win against Florida State. Closer to home, 2011 All-Star Rachel Banham has revitalized the Minnesota Golden Gophers. She scored two game-winning baskets this season, once to beat Northwestern on the road and the second to beat Virginia Tech in a December tournament. She also had an active role in Minnesota's WBI championship run. Her high school teammate Epi Ojulu, 2011 All-Star MVP, not as loud on the stat sheet, but provided a very effective role for Marquette especially when it came to offensive rebounds. For more information and to support our mission, please visit us online at www.spnn.org. Second half starting here in your city all-star classic. We got team truth with the ball. Team truth with the ball. 
Nice spin move right there, a little short. Dontrea Cole with that shot misses it. Antilla brings it up. And the ball, Antilla, I think she's still heated up here. Antilla to the basket. Nice and drive. Finishes. Olivia Antilla. I think that uh, halftime shooting uh, competition got her going. You know, there's a there's a strong competition right now between Antilla and Nix for MVP so far. Oh, a shot. Nice shot by Orr. Newton Orr. Nice shot. Unbelievable. Hopkins, oh, with the blow by. Doesn't finish. Nice shot by that Guyton. Rebound looks like it. Mar Marlea. I believe Marlea. Marlea. Marlea Edwards of Central. Yep. St. Paul. Oh, with the dish. No good. Hopkins. Oh, nice step back oh, jump shot. What a move. Make it. What a move. Back, uh oh, back out to Guyton. Once again. Team Faith dominating the board. To the basket. Nice, nice drive to the nice drive to the basket by Ashley Morales from Highland Park. Team Truth up by eight points, but if they don't re do a better job of rebounding, you know they can lose this game. Team Faith has got a lot of offensive rebounds this game. To the basket, strong. The drive and finish. And the finish, Marlea Edwards from Central. Who will be going to Anoka Ramsey. Great program at Anoka Ramsey. Anoka Ramsey always loads up there. The, they're running for a national championship every year out there at Anoka Ramsey. The shot by Ashley Lee Marellas yeah. from uh, Highland Park, who is undecided still. Again, the score is 34 to 24 in favor of Team Truth. Cute little baby there, you can just kind of see. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you know, you've talked about this being a family event, and you know, you're right, you do see a lot of families. You see, you know, couples, you see kids. What a great environment. Strictly family event. No, Hopkins, no good. Rebound by Orr. Orr Nice her, outlet pass. Outlet. The two and one fast break. Oh. Nice. Should nice they? shot by Marlea Edwards. Marlea Edwards with a couple buckets. Yes. And yes. Tilla with a yep. Gets to the basket. Nice step, step through. through. Nice shot. Olivia and Tilla. Nice step, <laughs> step through move. And Tilla. What do you think the average amount of uh, fans? Uh, oh, what a move. Nice move. What a move. Nice move. Reverse by Newton left Newton hook shot. Moore. That's a nice move by a young lady. No pun intended. I mean, I do coach, you know, I'm a woman myself, but that was a nice move. That was. That was very nice. 38-26 in favor of Team Truth. You know, Troy, I asked earlier, what do you think the, uh, you know, average fan support is for this event? You know, it, it, it goes and ebbs and flows. Really, a lot of times, like, I, I would guess, you know, probably some years we get up over 3,000. Wow. Um, depending on the kids that are playing, I know when we have our more high profile of young men and ladies, I know, uh, you know, we've had the higher profile, you know, people playing the game, more people show up. Um, you know, this year is not that really high profile um, woman, man or woman playing in this game this year. So usually steady when that happens. We probably look at about 1,500, I'm thinking. Anywhere between 1,000 to, you know, once the boys game gets started, it goes up to about 1,000 or 1,500. Nice. Looks like there's a turnover. There's my husband over there, John Patterson. John Dino Patterson. Cell. He's coaching. Uh, so I could be here with you. Happy Father's Day to, you, to your husband, John Patterson. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll share that with him. The you basket's know, I, good. I believe you guys are probably only uh, wife, husband, uh, coaching <laughs> duo in the state, I would think. I don't know of any other. <laughs> well, you know, I got to tell you something. There's probably a reason why there's no other. Nice <laughs> <laughs> move. Nice move by Shadero Harris. Minneapolis North, nice move. Left hand finish. Shadero. Yeah, so he's actually, oh, the shot. Nick stands there with Nick's the, oh. finally misses one. In the top of the key area. It's very difficult, you know, but, um, you know, coaching uh, with your spouse, you know, you go home, you 
go to practice, and all you do is talk about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hard, I guess. But, uh, you know, but when you have the passion of it that you guys do, I'm sure that doesn't, you know, oh, affect yeah. it too much because you guys both love it. If oh, you didn't yeah, love it, did. it'd be an issue, huh? <laughs> Anyway, but I don't think I could marry anybody who wasn't involved in basketball. That'd be, yeah, that'd be hard. That'd be hard. <laughs> I, know, I know it was hard for me. <laughs> so. Team Faith is uh, down by, looks like, 12 points. Brenda Brown, oh, the crossover. A little shake and bake. Ball back to Brenda Brown. Dontrea Cole with the ball. Dontrea showing the hand ball handling ability. Rich, Rich Dontrea with the Cole, ball. Cole, where is she from again? Dontrea Don Cole goes some transitions. Hopkins is fouled by Rich. You know, transitions has done a great job. You know, their men's pro program has gone to state for generally quite a few times. It, I've heard lots of good things about their women's program now, so they're they're up and coming. They are. They are. They're doing some, they're doing some pretty good things. Giving kids opportunities to, uh, you know, further their education and play basketball. Now I've got to ask you, Shamika Hopkins, being from Duluth East, how did you guys end up finding her? You know, there's some talent down there. There's a boy um, in the men's game that's going to be playing uh, Johnny Woodard, who is probably the early um, favorite for MVP. There's some talent. I mean, you know, we just look all over for the most talented kids, and you know, we we talk to people. D Bird. Um, it's from up in Duluth. Um, I think Johnny is his uh, uh, nephew. And so, you know, we get connections and we hear about kids and we go watch them play and say, hey, get to play. You know, let's get them in the game. So, All right. you know, she, um, you know, so we was able to find those diamonds in the roughs and they're willing to come down and enjoy the festivities. It's a long wow. drive from here, to, from here to Duluth. Great difference of play right there by John Trey Cole. Nice move. Jasmine Haynes. Oh, look at her. She is Woo! sweet. You know, that's one thing. You need to go over there and tell your husband to play Jasmine Haynes if he wants to win this Woo! ball game. What a shot. She a is, she jump is a, shot. She is a player. <laughs> With somebody all in her face. <laughs> nice rebound once again Believe me, by the, Cole. I had the coach against her this year. And, uh, she was there in our conference. And, yeah, and it wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't fun. That backcourt of her and... Uh, Ashton, uh, Chelsea Lee was pretty deadly. Chelsea McGee. Nick oh, is Nick. good. She's filling it. She's filling it. She knew that was good as soon as she released it. You can see she was headed up the floor and back on defense. Brenda Brown. Brenda Brown. Brenda Brown. Oh. She's determined to get to the basket. <laughs> With a few of those shake and bake moves. Rich, what the? Oh, did Rich. You, oh, oh, unbelievable, no unbelievable. Are they going to count it? No count, no bucket. He did says, you see her? Off. I she called a good. play, and I, I she called a play as a little fake. And it <laughs> a strong move to the basket. Oh, and they're going to make it or take it out of bounds. Yep, no I think good. she got robbed there. What do you think? I think she did, too. I think. <laughs> unbelievable. I think she did, too. So, Rich. She's short. Defense, nice still. By Brianna Seahern with the pass, the pump fake. Mix. The move to oh. one hand. Is it going to go? No good. Jasmine nice Haynes. Move. Look at Jasmine Off as a rebound, finally. To or, oh, that's short. But she but follows she, her own rebound. It's her own rebound. <laughs> Unbelievable. Seahorn with the ball. Back over to Haynes. Looks like they're slowing it up just a little bit. Rich with the ball. Looks inside. You never know what she's going to do. This is it to the wing. Seahorn over to Nix. Nix now with the ball. With the, oh, oh, nice. With over the the behind the pass. Oh, no, no good. look pass behind the net. <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> pass. Hopkins. Shamika Hopkins with the ball. Nice move from the post. <laughs> you know, I love a good post that can pass. They're so effective when they get that high post position or low post when they can really pass and look for their teammates. Brenda Brown. Finally connects. Finally connects. She's been working extremely hard. She finally connects Brenda Brown from Roosevelt. 45-32. 
We got about eight minutes left. And to say 45 in the building says 47 <laughs> on our TV. So I think, oh, there we go. Now we fixed it. 45, 32 in favor of Team Truth. Your husband is winning in his coaching debut <laughs> in the inner city also classic coaching debut. Anyway. That's a head coach anyway. Yeah, he's, he's coached a few games when I've been out ill. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He's always been out there when you were out there. That, that's the only way, way he can uh, coach my team. I have to be out ill. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Jamie Jones, assistant coach. She was a former MVP of this game. That was a picture of her over there. She's assistant coach over there with, with uh, Team Faith. Coach Graduate Bassett. of Concordia. Jamie Jones was an outstanding high school player at the school I work at, Irondale High School. She once had uh, 47 points in a section game. <laughs> she could flat out fill it up. Oh, yeah, great athlete. Yeah. Can leap, can shoot. She won the MVP award the year she played in this game. I remember that, Joseph. Outstanding. A lot of people didn't know who she was, but uh, after playing in this, uh, a lot of people knew that name after this event. The shot once again, a little bit long. Hopkins. Oh. The drive, great defense by Rich. There's a no call. Looks like she got bumped just a little bit, but there's a no call. You know, speaking of the coaches, James Fassett, who, who coached at Anoka Ramsey for a little bit. And, yep. You know, played basketball himself as the head coach at Anoka High School. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Does a good job. You know, James last year's team won two games. You know, his first year there and made and then they won their section. So they went through the whole year with only two victories and then they ran through their section and made it to the state tournament. So, you know, that that's an amazing feat. Talking about playing your best ball at the end of the year. <laughs> exactly. You know. So at Anoka High School, he made, like I said, made this state tournament class 4A big school after only two victories throughout the year. So that's, that's that a was fabulous. unbelievable. That was unbelievable. We just missed an outstanding potential and one, Ashley Little oh. Cooper. Yes, Drive. Your girl, Jasmine Haynes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the one guy, yeah, I, I certainly uh, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we got a question of the same official is going to do the guy's game. And, uh, you know, we could be fine. We could be fined over here if we criticize. No, no, there is. <laughs> nice shot by Rich. <laughs> you know, it's going to be, I tell you, it's going to be really, really close between if Team Truth continues to, to win this game or come out ahead. You know, trying to figure out whether Nix or Rich is going to be the MVP is going to be quite difficult. Brenda Brown has heated up for Brenda Roosevelt. Brown. Brenda Brown. I think this coach is, I said, okay, now it's time to put our best out there and let's go get it. Let's go get it. Let's go after it. Rich with the spin move behind her back to the legs. The left once again. Okay, Brenda Brown brings it up. Will she take it? She's feeling it. She's feeling it. Oh, she's going to take it. Oh. Got a call on the ground. I don't think that's on the shot. Brenda Brown. You can tell she was feeling it. You can tell yeah, she got, was feeling it. The uh, Mr. Mr. D Bird is not in in enamored with the officials right now, Miss <laughs> Johnson. He is uh, thinking that the referees are not doing a very good job. It's an all-star game. <laughs> The drive by oh, Priscilla. Oh, she is short. She didn't get the foul. Looks like she was bumped once again. Nice tip pass. <laughs> no good. Ashley Lee. Ashley Lee from Cooper brings the ball up. Looks for her guard. Okay, Brenda Brown. What's she gonna do with it? What's she gonna do with it? Brenda Brown. No nice, nice pass. pass. To, to Ashley Back to Lee. Ashley Lee. Oh, just a little bit too long on that. Unbelievable. I think she was fading out of bounds on that shot. What a tough shot. Just when Team Faith was making their run. This one was making her run. That might have been the dagger. Four minutes to go. Up 14 might be tough. Ashley Lee, short. Antilla. Foul. But a hard foul. Hard foul right there. Those two noise 
reminds me a little bit of, uh, you know, that Ossie or Cooper matchup. <laughs> uh, one heck of a uh, spot. Actually, you know, that's, um, you know my, that's my fault there. She's uh, from Prairie C. That's <laughs> Prairie C, yeah. I think she was at Cooper at one point, I'm not sure. <laughs> she was, and <laughs> I believe her brother. I believe plays that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a talent there. Yeah. Once again, it's going to be very exciting, Tosh I tell you. Junior. Those uh, classes coming up, class 2013 and 14, are extremely competitive. Both of the boys and the girls in. See her again. Oh, she got that one tipped. Carson blocked. Morales. Morales. Oh. Uh-oh, so back to a 12-point game. Team Faith, can they come back? They've got three 12 minutes. to three minutes. Three minutes left. They look like they're they're trying. We've got a three-point attempt three. here. Oh, no good. Oh, oh nice. Oh, what a rebound. <laughs> Jasmine Haynes. What a rebound. Bound, unbelievable! Did she you get know, up or what? I, I, I am under the impression, and I'm just gonna say this is my opinion, though it don't mean much. But I am under the impression that Jasmine Haynes is the most talented young lady on the court, Whew. talent-wise. She's just so quick, shoots the ball, handles well. the ball. Well, Here she, she looks to be doing it all. She got oh, a three-point shot. Oh, it's Off just the short. Run. Uh oh, there's Lee with the ball, her teammate. Guyton oh, for a two. Guyton Top strong to move. And I don't think she's touched the ball at all, but maybe once in the second half. <laughs> One of the things about an all-star game, I tell you, you know, you gotta, you gotta be ready. <laughs> for three, young. Rebound once again by... Dontrea. Cole. Dontrea Cole. Oh, oh. Team Faith, push the ball before. All right, it's a 10-point game. 10-point game. Looks like Team Faith is picking up a little bit closer half court. Offensive rebound. They've got to get those rebounds if they want to come back from hash mark. Will it go? Just a little bit too, too hard. We got a massive substitution here. We got subs coming uh, John in. John Pedersen's looking like my husband. He's putting his, his starters back in. Once we're going to start the game. And uh, I think he wants to win this game. He's getting a little bit competitive here. It's 52 or 42. With, uh, you know, because of our running time system, it, it, it's probably out of reach. You know, time's going to go by so fast. There's that spin move we talked about by Guyton, but it's a little bit short. But I love the fact that Team Faith is fighting to the end. You know, they're not giving up. They're going to play all the way to the end. Which is which is fun to watch here. It looks like a minute and a half to go. That's right. They're picking up full court, but Rich to the basket. She's too strong. She Great defense to... by Guyton. Oh, did Darryl. you see the move? Did Darryl. you see the move? She put the ball. Oh, and she got a steal in front of her. <laughs> in front of her. I don't know if you were watching. Oklahoma City is the same move that Harden did <laughs> and got the foul on LeBron James. Oh, the oh, reverse step through. Nice shot. Oh, nice, nice shot there by Paris Crenshaw. Crenshaw of Highland Park. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a move. You know, Inner City All-Star Classic is, is you know, fun. fun game, you know, but, you know, tell me, how impressed are you with the talent out here today? Well, I tell you, you know, and what, this is what I love about this venue here is that, you know, you don't get to see oftentimes some of the young ladies that, you know, the African-American ladies, especially when making the state tournament, you know, that are in the state of Minnesota. And I tell you, I'm surprised at the talent level because a lot of these young ladies I really had, you know, had not heard about, but I am extremely impressed. Yeah, me too. Me too. I am, I am pleasantly overly surprised at the talent level in this game today. Um, you know, like I said, there's no big names, there's nobody, there's no Taylor Hills or anything like that, and all Ohio states or anything like that. So there's a bunch of girls out here playing hard and, and talented young ladies that have got bright futures. Fun to watch. And you know what? The most important thing is I tell people is the fact that our young ladies are participating in sports. That enough in itself teaches our young people, young girls in particular, to compete. We competitive, be tough. 
and they have a higher percentage of being successful uh, young women that participate in sports. So as a woman, and as a woman, you know, female coach, I'm extremely excited about all these young ladies and their futures. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and that's, and I couldn't have said that better. They're out here participating and enjoying themselves and enjoying the game and having fun. Again, basketball's a game, so it's meant to, you know, have fun with it. And they look to be uh, having fun. And this is a culmination of their high school careers, their last high school uh, level competition game they'll ever have. So you might as well have fun with it going out. Now it's, Absolutely. you know, it's, it's, it's college or you know, or in a mirror or whatever they decide to do. So. Now it's kind of a farewell to the state of Minnesota for those that are going to play. And also, you know, this is a, just a great you know, opportunity for, for both boys and girls to be able to showcase their skills and leave an impression in the state of Minnesota. That's for sure. That's for sure. That's for sure. 37 seconds left to go in the 19th annual Inner City All Star Classic Women's Basketball Game. You know, I don't know if it's one rich. time. You know, anything can happen. 31 seconds, but uh, yeah, we would need a Reggie Miller <laughs> type performance against the Knicks. No, don't say it too loud. My husband, he, you know, he hates. Uh, you are seeing that every time they play that you know, classic. <laughs> oh, really? Reggie Miller, 30 for 30. They're you know, always constantly yeah. playing it. The basket's good once again. I was a big Knicks fan. <laughs> That's right. 20 seconds to go, or with the ball. Oh, and she was fouled on the play. At this point, uh, what are your thoughts on our MVP? You know, without seeing the scoring from the eye test, I'm thinking Knicks with the eye test. I'm thinking Knicks. Like I said, if Haynes had been on the floor a little bit more, I think it would have been hurt. But um, I, think, uh, I think Knicks definitely, uh, definitely won. In my well, opinion, I believe Hicks won. It. I think Rich, you know, I think she's done some things here to the pass here. It, uh, you know, a little unselfishness right there by Knicks. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, usually, because usually they go by the person that scored the most points. Um, so, I don't know. I'm thinking it was next, but we'll see here shortly. And that's the final score. Score 54 46 in favor of Team Truth. And you know, you, you see the lot of friendly competition out here. Your girls are smiling. They've had a good time. You know, there's no hard feelings or anything. You know, they just appreciate competition and enjoying one another and the respect level there of all the talent is just it's exciting and just to watch and see these young ladies really uh, carry themselves in such a professional manner yeah you know and, and like you said they com they competed they had fun they uh they just came out here to represent themselves and their families and they did a very good job of doing that and that's what it's about like i said it's a family event family atmosphere and, um, you know, all these young ladies represent themselves and their families um, very well today. So we are proud of them for that. You guys and do an outstanding we'll job, you know. Well, thank Think you. Think about uh, all the hard work you guys put into this. Uh, you, Derek Rubin, you, you're in memory of uh, Kwame McDonald and uh, Mitchell. Uh, There's McDonald. a lot of, uh, lot of Perkins sessions. Me, Derek, and Mitch spend doing the planning throughout the year and sitting in Perkins and and, um, you know, through those meetings, we always talk about and try to remember that it's about the kids and about what we can do to keep the game going for the kids. So, and like I said, to purchase a copy of this and other SBNN programs, please give us a call at 651-298-8906. And you can see face, um, beautiful face on one of these uh, copies. Again, it's 651-298-8906. And Knicks did win the MVP. Uh, again, with the eye test, I thought that's probably what would happen. She deserved it. Head to Concordia College in St. Paul. And we are going to get her over here and have an interview with Miss um, Nix. Well, she's taking a lot of photos right now. And, uh, <laughs> I went too with that nice size trophy there. Uh, I'm, I will be back. I'm going to go get her. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Keandra Nix, who is going to Concordia. Well, Concordia, by the way, uh, for most people that uh, might not be familiar, it's a Division II school here in the state of Minnesota in St. Paul. Uh, but, you know, has been very competitive, uh, made it to the national tournament quite a few times, and they are um, really, really, uh, if there were to be a, a second Division I 
team, basketball team or program, it would be, you know, Concordia would be highly considered, um, you know, for that. So here we go uh, shortly here with an interview by our MVP. Congratulations, um, Yanda Nix. MVP, how does it feel? Oh, it feels good. Feels good, feels good. Now, you had an awesome game. I mean, you stepped up out there and from the very tip, I was like, okay, she's going for the MVP. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your experience today. I mean, it was fun. My team was great. We all got along. Um, you, we were pretty competitive with the other team, you know? Yeah. It was pretty fun. So you're headed to Concordia yep. and St. Paul? Yep. Tell me a little bit about that and how excited you are to be starting your new career. I'm very excited. Um, I've been waiting to play college ball my whole life, so I'm wow. ready. Wow, <laughs> and it's coming, and it's coming. Well, you know, Kiana, congratulations. You are in an um, uh, uh, elite fraternity, 19 years of, of this game, and there are some fabulous um, athletes and, and young people that have won this MVP trophy, so you should feel honored. Yeah. And um, you earned it. And Thank congratulations you. to you, you and good luck to you. And we look forward to supporting you at Concordia. And this is Kianda Nix, our 19th annual Inner City All-Star Classic Women's MVP. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thanks. All right, all right. That's Kianda Nix. She had a fabulous game. Tell me a little bit about what you think about her game today, Faith. Unbelievable. She showed inside and out, you know, why she deserved that opportunity for a scholarship to play at Concordia. I tell you, you know, what a talent. I mean, someone who's about 6'1", 6'2", who can face the basket, but, you know, uh, also post up, I mean, and, and a great passer. Yeah. She's got a nice all-around game, and she's excited. She's been focused on, you know, playing at that level. She's appreciative, you know, won the MVP, came out here, and she really worked hard. I was very, very impressed. Well, okay. Well, we got to get ready for the boys' game, so we're going to sign off for now. Again, I am Troy Russell with Faith Johnson-Patterson. And uh, we will be back uh, shortly.